But first, the latest on that breaking news out of Bristol. Police have now identified the man arrested following an incident at the home as Richard Colello. This incident triggered a shelter in place in the area of Naomi Street around 1 p.m. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been on scene for a few hours now and joins us with what we've learned about the suspect and what led up to this massive scene. Anita? Well, Shannon and Mike, an argument between a father and son is what led up to this tense situation that has since cleared. I'm told that there were multiple large guns removed from the home that I saw, all of them a stone throw away from Mount Hope High School. State and local police rushing to Naomi Street in Bristol Wednesday afternoon after a local man locked himself inside a home with multiple guns. Police say 60-year-old Richard Coelho threatened his son with a gun after an argument. When his adult son and wife left the house and police responded, that's when Coelho refused to answer verbal commands by police. Officers did have uh, patrol rifles and uh, firearms prepared. A shelter in place was issued for this area. Police were negotiating with Coelho for about an hour and a half before he surrendered. Able to negotiate with Mr. Coelho, uh, who ultimately came out of the home uh, without incident. 12 news cameras capturing the arrest of Coelho, who was handcuffed and escorted by police outside of the home. Police Chief Kevin Lynch said they did not have the nearby high school release students early in an effort to limit students walking and driving in this area. The decision to uh, make sure that all buses did not come in this general area, they were all pushed out to Medicom Avenue. Several large guns were removed from the home. Police are still determining if they were obtained legally and how many there are inside. It was quite the scene for neighbors on Naomi Street. It was almost like a scene from a movie, so it was kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of freaky what was going on down here. Now, police describe Coelho as an outdoorsman. Records show in 2014 he was arrested by local police for shooting in a confined area and was also cited by the DEM for violating hunting laws. Live in Bristol, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. First breaking news, we have new information on the man taken into custody following an incident at a Bristol home this afternoon. Police say the man got into an argument, then locked himself in a house on Naomi Street, not far from the Mount Hope High School. Police sent out a shelter in place alert for people nearby after learning there were several guns inside the home. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been at the scene all afternoon and joins us live with an update. Anita? Well, Shannon and Mike, Richard Coelho was locked inside his home for nearly two hours before surrendering to police. I got word from police a short time ago that he is being charged tonight with felony domestic assault and disorderly conduct. A tense situation in Bristol unfolding on Naomi Street, right behind Mount Hope High School. State and local police rushing to the scene after an argument between a father and son led to the father, identified as 60-year-old Richard Coelho, locking himself inside his home with multiple weapons. A shelter in place was ordered after Coelho did not respond to verbal commands by police. After nearly two hours, he surrendered, our cameras capturing Coelho's arrest. Able to negotiate with Mr. Coelho. Uh, who ultimately came out of the home uh, without incident. All of this happened across the street from Mount Hope High School's football field. Despite that, police did not order school be dismissed in order to limit activity in the area. Walkers were held. Parents had to be contacted so that we didn't have any uh, high school aged children walking down. As you can see, we're on the grounds of the high school now. Multiple large guns were removed from the home. How many and whether they were obtained legally is still being determined. And it's not the first time police were called to that home. You've been called to the house before? We have been. The uh, Bristol Police has had contact uh, with residents of that home. A neighbor described the incident as something you see in a movie. So he's a good guy. So um, it, it's too bad. I'm not sure what happened or you know, what caused him to get to that level. But uh, it's too bad. So hopefully he can get the help that he needs. Now, Coelho is being described by police as an outdoorsman, and records show in 2014 he was arrested by local police for shooting in a confined area and was also cited by DEM for violating some hunting laws. Live in Bristol, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.